We can use scene layers inside of Softimage XSI to easily organize our scenes and help us work a little bit more efficiently and faster. So it's a good idea to take advantage of scene layers whenever you're working on any project inside of Softimage XSI. So let's have a look at that. Here I have a pretty simple scene with several primitive objects kind of strewn about. And I don't have any layers set up. However, by default, when you create a new scene in XSI, you will always have a default scene layer. So where is this scene layer? We can view it a couple of different ways. Probably the quickest and easiest way is by using the shortcut key on the keyboard, which is number six, to open up the scene layer manager window. From here, we could see a list of our layers in our scene. By default, we only have one, and it's called layer underscore default. It's the currently selected layer. It's the currently active layer. That's why it shows up in this green color. We have several attributes here that we can control. For example, uh, the view visibility, render visibility, as well as the selectability, and ghosting for animation. Let's close this little window down. Another way to get access to the scene layer manager is here in the MCP. Right now, it's in MCP mode, which is main command panel. Down here, we have different tabs one for the material toolbar and one for the KPL, the keen panel and layer manager. If we open up the KPL by clicking on the tab, we'll end up here with these animation tools. Right now, this isn't what we want. We want the scene layer manager. So over here, you'll see two tabs, one called animation, which is the default one that's open, and one called scene. Click on scene. And as you can see, this will look familiar to you. We had six on the keyboard to open up the scene layer manager floating window again. We'll see they're the exact same menu. It's just two different locations to go ahead and work with it. I prefer to work with it in this floating window than working with it in the KPL. However, your workflow is up to you. Okay, I'm going to go back to the MCP and I'm going to work with the scene layer manager window. By default, we just have this one layer. We could create new layers, however. Click on the layers button. And we'll get several options here, one of them being New Layer. So let's click on New Layer. Now let's make a new layer and rename it to Sphere Layer. Hit OK. And now you have a new layer. Layers that are not currently active will be shown in white. What this means is that any new objects I create in the scene will be dumped into the green layer or the active layer right now. So in order to switch that over to the Sphere Layer, I can click this button here. And now so now that the sphere layer is the currently active layer, it's shown in green. Any new objects I create, such as cubes or spheres or curves or any NURBS objects or toruses or anything, will be placed in the sphere layer because it's currently the active layer. So let's place the layer default layer back to be the active layer. Okay. What I want to do in this specific example, I want to grab all the spheres in the scene and I want to dump them right into the sphere layer. So let's do that. Holding on shift, let's select all the spheres in the scene. And what I'll do is I'll right click on top of the sphere layer, which will make it turn blue. And now I have a submenu of several options. One of the options that I want is move selected objects to layer. So now all of the selected spheres will be in the sphere layer. Now initially, it won't appear as if though anything happened, but something did. All the spheres or all the objects I had selected are now in this new sphere layer. Now using these options for visibility, rendering, and selectability, I can control uh, using this layer what happens to these objects in the scene. So for example, I could turn off the view visibility, and now these objects are no longer visible. I can also turn off the renderability, so they'll remain visible in the viewport, but whenever I render them out, they won't render. They'll just be invisible. I can also turn off their selectability. This means they get frozen in place and I can no longer select them. I can still select objects that are outside of that layer, such as this cube or this torus, but I can no longer select the spheres or any other object that belongs to that layer. If you want to delete a layer, simply right click on it and click on delete layer. The layer will be deleted, but the objects that were in that layer will be left in your scene. They'll basically be removed out of the layer, placed into the default layer, and the layer that you deleted will be gone. So that's how you can work with different layers inside of Softimage XSI. Strongly recommend you take advantage of them and use them as they'll increase your efficiency and speed when working on scenes, especially 
very large and complex ones.